everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my little video of meals of the week. So it's Monday and I'm going to do a meatless Monday again. I'm going to try and do that every Monday and have three or four days without any meat. So I decided to do um, a vegetable stew, which is um, swede, carrot, onions, mushrooms, chestnuts, celery, lentils, and then a vegetable stock. I was going to try and do low carb, but I just really fancy stodge and stuff so i've done homemade herb, herby dumplings there's three of them but i'm just eating the one and that's been in my slow cooker for about seven or eight hours quite a long time while i've been at work and then i really fancy like a creamy mash but i don't want to have my cows like i said so i've done boiled broccoli and then i've mashed it all up with cream cheese um there's a little bit of garlic salt in there and then put it under the grill with some red leicester cheese in there so um not quite as good as a cheesy mash but it's just as tasty so yeah that's my dinner for tonight and it's a meatless monday tea tonight is an extra hot corn chili it's been in the slow cooker for about five or six hours so it's really tender and i put some chili beans in there which i don't normally do because i'm not too keen on them but i know they are very 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 good for you so it's tomatoes onions garlic lots of chili a tin of tomatoes the works um covered in cheese some sour cream and then i found some wild rice in the back of the cupboard that takes forever to cook so i've mixed that with some sweet corn and some red pepper sprinkled over it with lime and I'm going to put some habanero chilies on there to make it really really hot and then I've done some little homemade I don't even know what they are flatbreads I guess which is just gluten-free plain flour cream cheese salt and a drop of water mixed it into a boil into a bowl and then just kind of dry fried it in a hot pan so I'm going to have that with lure packs so yeah quite a big filling meal for me so that's tea which is an extra hot chili Tea tonight is something really quick because I'm absolutely starving. So it's smoked salmon from Sainsbury's. They're on offer at £2.25 at the moment. They're really, really nice. Half an avocado with lime and salt on there. A bit of smoked mackerel that was left over from the video that I did, the pate. And then a poached egg, which is massive. I cut a bit of the white off. It's straight from the chicken, basically. I got it from a farm. They are £3 for six, so they're very expensive homemade hollandaise sauce which i've curdled and it's not gone too well but anyway i'm still gonna eat it i'm not gonna waste it and then i've done a little bit of a salad which i don't really think i fancy it's got pineapple in there tomatoes cheese celery and cucumber uh, and some oil and vinegar in there so i'll come back for that later i think so yeah something really really quick because i'm hungry tea tonight is a grilled lamb steak that's massive i got it in my food hall the other day i think it's very tough as well so uh, never mind um grilled onions that i did in the same pan as the lamb um turnips or swede mashed with lots of butter black pepper and salt it takes ages to cook some white cabbage that i boiled up put a little bit of double cream in there some butter some salt and black pepper and makes it a creamy saucy bit and then some just some steamed broccoli that I did in the same pan as the cabbage and then I got mint sauce to go with my lamb steak. I did want to try somebody's video, Paddy Joe, if you're listening to this, I really wanted to try the Vegemite but just not too sure it goes with lamb and lamb's so expensive here. I don't, don't want to ruin it because I love my lamb. So yeah, that is my tea for tonight. Tea is just my leftovers over the last few nights. So it's Dorito chips corn chilli, wild rice with vegetables in there and then leftover mashed turnip, leftover white cabbage in a cream sauce, lots of cheese on top and some sour cream and I'm going to put some habanero chilies on there to make it extra spicy so for a leftover meal I think this is quite good. Tea tonight is a salmon fillet that I just put in tin foil with fresh lemon, um, salt and lots of butter and just wrapped it up in a parcel. I've done some fried rice, which I wanted to stay off carbs, but I'd got a couple of mushrooms and a bit of onion and stuff like that. So I wanted to use it up and I didn't make ratatouille or anything. I just did some rice anyway. So that's got squid sauce in it, mushrooms, onions, garlic, chilli and just rice. Uh, and then my carrots and turnip or swede, which I've forgotten how long they take to cook. They must have been boiling for about 35 minutes and they're still not cooked. So it's a little bit hard, a little bit rough, but lots of salt, lots of pepper and butter in there. And then for drink, I've got the coconut, 
and pineapple squash. I think I bought in my food haul. Put some slices of lemon in there. There is some ice in there, I think it's melted. Uh, and a little drop of rum just to kind of warm me up because it is uh, very, very cold. We're expecting snow tonight. So yeah, that's tea for tonight. So it's the end of the week and I decided to have something really, really unhealthy. So I've done some homemade skinny chips that have just been done in a little bit of fat and then put under the grill. They were parboiled for a couple of minutes before. A Linda McCartney burger, which I've had in the freezer for ages. So underneath that, there's gherkin, cheese and tomato and some raw onions. So it's sat a bit higher. Um, jalapeno poppers that I didn't have any bacon to put around, which is fine. They're still really, really nice, just stuffed in the chilli. Um, three mushrooms that I just put under the grill with the burger and the chips and a handful of chestnuts because they're left over from a couple of days ago that I haven't got around to eating. So yeah, burger and chips kind of thing, but without the bread. So that's the end of the week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have watched to the end, then really, really good. Thank you so much. And I will support anybody who watches the full video because they're not very long. Thank you for your time and stay safe.